Hey girls, how are you? Oh my gosh, Kelly Joseph here. If you're listening to this like live, then I am literally coming off of a long weekend for our 40th birthday. So what happened was my friends and I are all turning 40 this year and we decided that obviously all of our birthdays are dispersed through the year that we're going to do a long weekend together and just celebrate our 40th. And we had eight girls all together. And um, you know how it is, you guys, when you get women together, eight especially. We've been friends, some of them I've been friends with since kindergarten, some fourth grade, some sixth grade, and we've all remained friends through the highs and lows, some closer than others, some like lost con connection with, and so there was a lot of emotion going into the trip. I was a little nervous um, because I had lost touch with some of them and I'm working on my journey. I'm definitely in it. I'm, I'm always in it. I'm always in it to grow and expand. I'm waking up daily. I'm becoming more conscious daily. And when you're going through that journey, right, you, you, you think and you have a lot of emotions and you just want to be your best self and you don't want um, to like go through certain painful emotions and you also want to be your truth, right? So my goal on the trip was really to, um, big coffee by the way, um, my, my goal on the trip was really to just step in my truth and be myself and be the voice of love. Um, heal past relationships and just be in the moment really and and let me tell you you guys it was amazing i highly recommend to any of you who have lost touch with your um college friends high school friends elementary middle whatever and you know who i'm talking about you know deep down to your core the ones that you're like oh man i know we lost touch for something silly um or like life got in the way and we were just so busy that we just haven't talked. Go reach out to them today because it's super important. Those connections are healing. I know on my healing journey that, that this past weekend was so healing for me. So healing. And it really woke me up to the fact that I need those connections in my life. I hadn't had any stomach issues the entire time on the trip, which I was going through. I am going through some lip and stomach issues, um, skin issues. Everything just kind of evened out. And I'm like, whoa, this is this is just a, a true you know, testimony to the fact that when we are around loving people and with people we're comfortable with and that are our childhood friends and who we've grown up with, that connection is so healing. So I'm giving you permission to do that. And I really wanted to today talk about a quote that I love and I just really want to kind of, um, you know, go off on this for a little bit. Um, and the quote is this, we are all walking each other home. And when I heard that, it was, I've, I've heard it a lot, but recently I'm just like, that is so true. And I'm going to kind of explain it in my personal opinion on that quote, but isn't that the truth? You know, we are all walking each other home. And what I mean by that and what I get from that quote is home is who we are to our core when we were born. It's our truth. It's our purpose. It's different. My home is different than yours, is different than the next person. We're all unique. And that's what we want for our children too, am I right? Like we all are like, oh, be yourself, be true to you. You post the quotes that say, be you, you know, own it, blah, blah, blah. And it's really important, but we also have to step into that and remember that. Because I see a lot of people saying it and quoting it and putting it out there, but I just, it's really important that we we own it and we are it. We are all walking each other home. So my home, my truth is just sharing my voice of love and raising the consciousness of my community and the women that I surround myself with. I am a little, you know, spiritual. I'm woo a little bit. I love meditating. I love movement. 
I love anything that has to do with wellness. I'm obsessed with human design and I help women activate their human design. Um, if you don't know what that means, please go check out my free intro course. It's legit going to open your eyes so much. That's who I am. I shouldn't have to hide that or be dulling my shine or being embarrassed by it or um, downplaying it for anyone. And if I do, that's a sign that, whoa, like, why am I doing this? Let's step back. And if I'm afraid that other people aren't going to like me for that, then they're not walking me home. They're not the people that are going to walk me home, right? Um, and it's the same with you. Like, honoring all of us for our uniqueness. I work with women from all walks of life who are all going on their trip home to themselves and they're different. And just because it's different than my journey, that doesn't mean I should judge them. That doesn't mean I should unfollow them on Instagram. Um, and I can talk boldly about this right now. I have evolved a lot. I have changed. My business has taken a different path and I've lost people. I've lost friends. I've lost women and clients who I thought, you know, we had a bond. And when I started to talk my truth, they left. They, they unfollowed me. They found different coaches. Um, just because they didn't believe in my spiritual journey or what I talk about, they left. And so to me that I have to always come back to my truth. It does sting, right? You guys, when we step into our truth, it does sting. And when you start to step into your truth, it's going to sting a little bit when people leave. But I honor that. But I also say to myself, like, you know, you're on your path. I'm on my path. We are all walking each other home. It shouldn't matter the path. It's just love. It's it's us honoring each other and, and saying, go girl, that's awesome. And celebrating. Like, yes, how can I help you get home? And home is different for all of us. But just being there and that supportive woman in each other's lives. I think that's so important. And I really... I felt called to do this video today because I think we forget that and we get into this, oh, well, she's different or she's doing something different than me. I'm inst I'm going to judge her. And we all, ju we all judge. If you sit here and say you don't judge, you're lying. I judge, but I have to return myself to love. Like, whoa, honor her. She's at a different point than me, not better, not worse. She's just at a different point. She's walking herself home too. I have no right to judge her path. She's got her path. I can just be me and step into my truth and inspire her just like she inspires me. And when we start to shift our perception to feeling that way and acting that way and being that way, we open up space in our bodies for more love. And I will be so honest with you, when I see that, when I... um go through like right now I'm going on Instagram because I have evolved so much my target market has changed my market in general has changed and I've just been going through and clearing kind of my Instagram cleaning it out and just seeing the women who have unfollowed and I'm just like wow that really hurts but I thought she was different I thought she was open I thought she like wanted to celebrate women and it's just interesting to me that I think we're in this judgment instead of openness and remembering we are all just walking each other home and I hope I can inspire you to think differently today about that we're so quick to judge another person and um, think that their path is wrong just because it's different and that can't be further from the truth we all have gifts. We are all put here. We teach our kids to be unique and to step into who they are. But yet, some of us go out and then judge that very same thing we're, we're preaching. We're putting the quote, quotes out there. And then we are so quick to judge. And I really, really, truly am not perfect by any means. Trust me. I drink my coffee. I like to consider myself spiritual, but also modern. I blend, I love makeup, I love movies, I love TV and shows and The Real Housewives, but I also love to meditate. I also love to tune into myself. And like I said, there's no judgment on that. I don't think I should judge you 
for doing your thing. You shouldn't be judging me. We should just love each other where we're at. And that's when the anxiety goes away and lessens. That's where the frustration lessens. When we tune into ourselves more and tune into our own journeys, we open up. We, we, we are really just give permission to, to everybody else to do the same. So I would love to hear your thoughts on that. Please comment. Please message me. Um, go ahead in the Modern Girls Retreat to Light, Love, and Purpose and share your thoughts on this because it's really important. And as I evolve and grow, it's scary. But I have to be me. I'm not going to dull my shine or be someone else to please others so that they don't leave. I have... I, is in me and I want to inspire others to do the same and to raise their consciousness and to just be themselves because that's when our health improves. That's when our joy and happiness improves. We can't be living for everybody else. And um, I'm just, I'm on a mission. I'm on a mission to share that, that message and this message. And um, if you're feeling me, if you understand what I'm saying, if you get it, if you're looking at it in a different way, I want to hear um, and I hope you have a wonderful day whenever you are watching this. Comment. Like I said, get in the group if you're not in there already. And if you want to know more about human design, definitely take my intro course. And um, let's start activating that. Let's, let's start getting on a more positive, high vibration path. Because I will tell you, you'll never go back. You'll never go back. You'll have little pitfalls. You'll have little, you know, things that occur, but that doesn't mean you you failed. It's just you're on the path of high vibe, um, raising the consciousness. And you're just going to have a way more peaceful, joyful life, and it's worth it. So I hope that I can help you get home to yourself, just like you guys help me on my path home. We're all on the path home. We're all helping each other get home. All right. Love you guys. Bye.